Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all really, really well. I hope you all had a really lovely week uh, or, or weeks. Um, apologies for my unintended hiatus. Um, I think I said in the last video, we've been super busy and I've just been struggling to keep on top of the YouTube videos. But I always feel like I'm coming on in some sort of confessional. So forgive me, dear watchers, it has been four months four weeks since my last video. Um, but yes, I am back, I am in the shop, and today I'm going to show you some of the lovely, lovely new fabrics that we've had in. We've had so many new, beautiful fabrics delivered, and I know lots of you like seeing them up close and getting a bit more detail, um, seeing how they move and stuff. So today I'm gonna to show you some real beauties. Uh, before I launch into that, I will just let you know what I'm wearing, and I know, I know that we are overdue a makes video, which I will do really soon. I've got lots of lovely things to show you, but I'll show you this one for now. So this is the um, Grace Top by Fro oh, my bra strap hanging out. Um, this is the Grace Top by Friday Pattern Co. Let me grab it. Um, if you've watched any of the recent videos, you'll know I'm in love with this. I keep raving about it. It's this tank top. So simple. I've um, got it tucked into jeans. You can see there's like a high, high neck there. Um, yeah, it is so easy. I sewed it in about 10 minutes. It's got this fold down um, facing for the neckline, which gives a really nice kind of high neck. And then it does have a high low hem. I think I took eight centimeters or so out of the length of the pattern as well so this is quite a bit shorter i'm trying to stand on my tiptoes to show you um but yeah it's got a high low hem and it should come down to about there on the pattern if you keep the pattern as standard but i took it out what i will do next time is just add in a little smidge extra around here because it is quite low cut under my arm and it does show my bra a little bit sometimes depending on which one I'm wearing. But I love it, it's so easy to do. It's just got a turn and stitched hem, which I've just tucked back in, and then a turn and stitch on the shoulder seam and the neck is obviously turned under. <laughs> just waving at the ladies in the shop. Um, right, so I'm going to dive straight in and show you some loveliness. I'm going to start with the most delicious Atelier Brunette delivery that we have had in. Um, they have brought out a whole new range and I can't wait to show you. Look at these. Um, so you will all know how much I love Atelier Brunette because the quality is just stunning. And these are no different. These are the Echo Vero um, viscoses. So they're really, really sustainably produced. Um, no harmful dyes, chemicals, anything like that. They, um, it says here, the new Atelier Brunette viscose fabrics are woven from Lenzig Echo Vero certified fibres. This process minimises environmental impact by halving water consumption and emissions compared to traditional viscose production, which I think is really important. Um, so these are super, super lovely, and the quality of them. And I like, they're quite um, a little bit different to some of the other Atelier Brunette prints. So you know how much I love the Moonstone um, and the Seeds one that I showed you a little while back. We've still got all of those in stock. We try and keep a good stock of the Atelier Brunettes because they're so popular. Um, but yeah, these, the colourway is slightly different. This one is the Oasis print in the night colourway and I love it. It's a bit more vibrant than some of their other um, prints. And again, it's quite sort of abstract um, geometric style. So it's really wearable, really versatile. But um, yeah, the colours are a bit brighter and a bit bolder, um, which is perfect for kind of summer, going into autumn. And they just move so beautifully. Can you hear that? <laughs> so that's, that one and then this print comes in I'm going to try and fold these up as I go rather than leaving them in a big heap um, this print comes in a blush colourway as well which is beautiful 
um, the one I've got down here. And we've got all of the matching bias bindings for these as well. So when you sew up your makes, you can use the matching bindings. And we also have loads of really beautiful Atelier brunette buttons as well. So you can really, really go the extra mile with all of your garments and these fabrics. I really wanted to make sure that you had that option. Um, so this is the blush and you can see it's a nice subtle sort of blush pink um, and again you've got those blues as well which just ties in so nicely because if you're wearing kind of jeans I think this would make beautiful beautiful blouses and tops um, but it is a nice um, but it's definitely heavier than some viscoses that you get so it's a nice dress weight and we've got some beautiful samples sewn up in a few of the other Atelier Brunette viscoses um, works beautifully for dresses anything where you want that kind of drape and movement um, this is one of the other prints that we've got in and we only have it in this colorway because the other one has sold out but this is the sandstorm and again it's the um, echo vero viscose and it's just a bit different i think it's a bit more playful um, than some of their other prints um yeah really like these kind of like wiggly shapes really love that one and then oh i lied actually i said we've only got this colorway left we don't we also have that in the off-white let me show you I actually found another one that we've got too um so this is it in the off-white and they do do this show i know this sounds mad but white and off-white is actually quite tricky um, because it's not always that flattering, but this particular shade, they do it, they run it through their range on different prints. They, it's so nice. So that's it in the off-white colourway. And then the third um, print that they brought out, which again is a really lovely, pretty one. It's probably more similar to some of their other prints, just a slightly larger scale. This is Palmetto. And you can see it's got these lovely dandelions, but it's just a bit larger than some of their previous prints that they've done. Um, but again, you've got that kind of more vivid orangey colour there, which I really, really like. Lovely. I could just stand here all day and do this. Just waft them around for you all. It's not a bad job. Uh, and this is it in the blush as well which is just so pretty um, as I throw all my pins on the floor. There we go, so that's that one. So we've got all of those three new um, prints in, uh, in both colourways. So yeah, I hope you like them as much as I do. They are stunning, really stunning. Um, and the fabrics just wash, <laughs> I'm cuddling it. The fabrics just wash and wear really, really well as well. Oh, and I'm going to keep going because I've just realised there is another print as well in this that I'd almost forgotten to show you, but in their double gauze, let me grab that one. So I lied, actually. It's cotton gauze. As soon as I picked it up, I remembered it's not double gauze. Very, very similar, um, but it's not the same as the previous uh, double gauzes that we've had them from them. So we've had the Stardust ones. We've still got them in uh, with the embroidered metallic circles on this is um a single thicker layer of cotton gauze whereas the double gauze is obviously lighter double gauze it's still it's still quite lightweight it's just got a different feel to it the double gauze is more of a kind of muslin-y kind of feel with a bit of a waft um, between the two layers whereas this is more it's it's almost something between a viscose and a cotton um so it's soft um with quite a bit of drape, but it's just that bit crisper than the viscose, I would say. But again, you could use it for dresses and tops um, because it's less drapey, maybe more structured ones like um, shirt dresses, um, blouses with collars, collar stands, things like that. Um, but you could do, you could do a um, kind of less tailored version. It's just gonna have more weight to it than a viscose. I'll tell you what would look really nice in this is the sagebrush top because you get a little bit of structure in the sleeves. Um, this is called Mirage Forest and this is the, I think that one, because we also have it in this colorway. 
ah sorry so it's mirage this is the forest colorway and this is the chestnut colorway i'll hold this one up as well and actually when i was um ordering these in i was showing naomi one of our teachers some of the fabrics that i was getting and she fell in love with these so i think again they're they're actually quite different some of the other atelier brunette prints so i really liked them because they're a bit unusual you can see you've got almost like abstract flowers with these little lines colors there and that one so yeah we've got all of those in we've got the matching bindings as i say we've got loads of beautiful beautiful atelier brunette buttons as well they're all on the website and i'll link all of the fabrics down below um but that is all of the atelier brunette range that i'm going to show you today so i will move on to the next lot you can see i've just raided the shelf here to show you the next lot so i've got some other viscoses so these aren't atelier brunettes these are various different brands um some of them are dead stock as well um Actually, I lie, these, none of these are dead stock, but they're all different brands. So this um, first one I want to show you is called Khaki Valentine. Um, and I do know, because um, it is dead stock fabric, but I do know it's from a, um, a French fabric designer. And oh my goodness, I love this. It's got this really soft khaki colour, which actually I think is really, really flattering um really wearable and then you've got these pink accents and it's almost like a tattoo style design um kind of small scale but when you get closer you can see that you've got like feathers and swallows and arrows and stuff really really lovely and again it's a nice weight um we make nice blouses and dresses tops Normally I give you, I try and give you obviously on some videos the pattern suggestions, but because I'm trying to show you so many of the new fabrics, I'm not going to do that today, um, but I promise I will do another five fabrics, five patterns very soon to give you some pairing ideas. That's that one. And then we've got a really lovely range of quite um, bright coloured, summery coloured um, viscoses in, I think these are all Modelo, so they're all um, really, again, um, produced without any harmful dyes, uh, chemicals, etc. And this one, which is called um, Daisy Green Viscose, uh, we do actually have in pink as well, so you have Daisy Green and Daisy Pink, and they've got this sort of almost Santorini tile inspired print. Love those. Really nice colour, if you can see those. That's that one. And then the pink, obviously, same print, different colours. I love the pink and blue combination. Okay. So pretty. Really lovely. I mean, the weather might not be that nice today, um, but this is a really nice summer mate. Summer and do you know what? Even though it's raining, or it was raining, it was, it was raining to almost biblical proportions this morning, actually, but um, it's actually still really warm, hence why I'm wandering around in the vest. Uh, and then this one is a lovely stripe. I know lots of you love a stripe. Look at those colours. How oh, beautiful is that? Do you know what? I could see this made up in a dress and you could do the dress on the cross grain. Sorry, the bodice on the cross grain. So have the stripes going across the body and then you could have the skirt with the stripes going downwards um, vertically. So the stripes do run parallel to the selvage vertically. But if you cut it on the cross grain, it would be um, fine to sew up and you get that lovely mix and match effect. I think that would be really nice. And then the other one out of that sort of little selection I wanted to show you is just this one, which we have called Dots in the Sky. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is lovely sort of sky blue, cornflower blue with a really small opening. The camera picks it up. Really small little dots. Lovely. 
So then I wanted to show you a couple of the new jerseys that we've got in as well. We've got some new stretch fabrics. Oh, actually, before I do that, I will just show you. We've had a lovely Atelier brunette. No, I've just said that. I've just shown you all the Atelier brunettes. We've had a lovely top up of some of our art gallery fabrics as well. I did, I think, show you some of these in the last video. Um, but this one, I have the most beautiful... Lyra dress, which if you're on our Instagram or you're on our newsletter, you would have seen a picture or a video of me in, um, sewn up in this, and it is stunning. It is just so beautiful. I think it's my favourite um, dress that I currently own. Um, this is called Posy Blaze, and it's one of my favourite prints. It's got so many lovely colours. You've got like the turquoises, the pinks, the blues, um, on a navy base. Really wearable. The print is quite small scale. Yeah, I love this, can you tell? That one, and again, it's art gallery, so the rayon is just such lovely, lovely quality. Um, we've also got um, a few new ones you can see behind me. So we've had this one. Actually, I'll, I'll hold it up for you in a second. Um, but I wanted to show you this because the print is so amazing. Um, so this is called, uh, lush rainforest for obvious reasons. Down there, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? I think that's so pretty. And you could make and you could make like a whole dress up in it. Or you could even just do something like a simple um throw on robe, you know like wear it with a vest top and just have a really nice um wearable robe to throw over like a summer cover up kind of thing. So pretty. And then the one I was just talking about is a really lovely red that we've had in a jersey before. And I have um, made a top out of it in the jersey, but we've now got it in the rayon. I know Lucy has already nabbed some of this to make something with. Um, so I'll probably, as usual, steal it and wear it and show you. <laughs> um, but isn't it gorgeous? You've got these, like, white flowers i think they're magnolias i think it's called magnolia what's it called yeah magnolia study so beautiful and the red is just a really nice i'd say it's more of like a cool toned red um yeah really stunning and in fact when i hold that up i think wow i really want to wear something in that which is always a good sign considering i choose all the fabrics um, right, I will show you a couple of jersey fabrics as well. Okay, I've just grabbed a few because I'm conscious. I don't know how long this video is going to be because I've had to film it in a couple of um, sections, but I think this is probably going to be my longest one for a while, so I hope you don't mind, but there's just so much lovely stuff to show you, and I could show you loads more. <laughs> so um, I will obviously link to our new in section um, down below, so do head over and have a look because everything is on there. Um, look at this. This is a viscose jersey. And again, you can tell I'm quite drawn to my orangey colours at the moment, um, which is actually sort of a fairly new thing for me. But um, I've started wearing more kind of orangey tones and orangey reds. I've got a really nice orangey red lipstick. Um, I've got a really nice orangey red lipstick, which um, I've been wearing a lot recently. I think it's just a nice summery colour. But yeah, this is kind of like the lilacs and purples and your orangey reds. And I, um, sorry, your orangey purples as well. And I just really, really like that. It's a viscose jersey, so it's quite drapey. Um, it'd definitely be um, something for a pattern with a bit of shaping in. So either like a loose fitting t-shirt with draper movement. There we go again. Yeah, so something like a loose t-shirt, like the Soho 7 Tabor with... Um, you know, the v-neck, you could have that as like a drapey, loose fitting one. Um, or if you were going to make a dress out of it, you'd want something maybe like a wrap or something with a more fitted shape, just so that the um, viscose doesn't just hang. Um, whereas if you want a cotton jersey, you could then go for something a little bit more structured. So um, speaking of cotton jerseys, I've got, a, we've got um, quite a few more in, but I'm just gonna show you a couple uh, because as I said, I'm gonna run out of time. And I've picked a couple of the really fun prints that I am loving at the moment. So this one, look at that. This is our Wibbly Wobbly Rainbow Stripe, um, named fairly obviously <laughs> because it's Wibbly Wobbly Rainbow Stripes. And I just love the colors. 
to really summary. And I actually have got um, some of this cut upstairs because I was gonna do just a quick one of these grace tops in it. I think that's really cute for summer. Um, and you've got your like light blues, your turqu turquoises, greens, etc., and your pink. So yeah, really nice, happy colours. And then this one, I just love. I love, love, love it. And um, we have, I think we've still got it. Yes, we've got it on a cotton base. And it was really popular because it's just one of those lovely prints. And now I've got it in on the um, cotton jersey. Um, look at that. I love it. It's like a celestial print. Uh, really nice. Good amount of stretch to it. Nice, medium weight, good quality cotton jersey um, on this beautiful kind of night sky blue. So pretty. Again, I might just make a vest out of that, you know, because even though it's more of a unusual print, I don't think it's kind of like a novelty. I don't think it's a kid's print. You could definitely use it for kids' clothes, but it's not, it's not just for kids, is it? Is that just me? Right, there's loads of other things I could show you. We've got some lovely um, Fisco crepes in, some other stuff, but I think, but, oh, uh, we've also got a lovely Italian brunette sweatshirting, which I was gonna show you. But um, I think I've shown you enough for today. Um, I hope you like all of the fabrics that I've shown you. I hope seeing them up close has been helpful. I'm going to, I've got this massive pile of fabrics on the table now, which the girls are gonna be annoyed at me because, um, They'll have to put them all away. Um, so I'm going to leave now before all of my fabric pile falls over. But yeah, I hope you're all having a really lovely week. It's lovely to be back and chatting to you. We are now at 17,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. It's so helpful. I will link everything down below and I will be back very, very soon. I promise I won't leave it as long as time. Um, and I will probably do some pattern and fabric pairings because I know you guys like those and I'll show you some other makes as well. But yeah, I hope you'll have a really good week and I will see you again very soon. Bye. <laughs>